Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. We made so many changes yesterday, you guys. Okay, we made one change yesterday. One big change. Today's gonna be a big, big, big day on this little farm. Right, guys? Are you excited? <laughs> Can you guys see it? Can you guys see it? <laughs> My baby girl. Yeah, all right, we're just waiting for the expert to come. Good morning guys and welcome to today. Today is 7 a.m. here. It's 7 a.m. 7 a.m. on the day fam. Oh. It's 7 15 a.m. now. Nope. What time is it, Miss Perfect? When I checked my phone before I came down, it was 7.23. It is 7.23. No, it's probably 7.28. It's 7.28 on the day fam. Okay. Yeah, what the heck? You are looking super good in that color. My shoe got polished because of the water. <laughs> yeah, how to polish your shoes. No, I didn't polish them. Okay, come on, let's get going. That's just from the water. Yeah, you need to do what is not done. I didn't polish it, the All right, water did. let's go. Welcome, Sophie. She's got it there, I got it here. This is the tricky part. <gasps> Uh-oh, all right. Nice and slow, get. Good boy. I know, we need to put a halter on him, but we're in a hurry today. So if you saw yesterday's video, and all of our videos are up now, hopefully we can get our internet fixed. Um, a storm is getting progressively, progressively more aggressive. I know a lot of people are gonna be upset by that, that I said that. I know a lot of people think that if you just leave horses alone, they always get along. I don't know, I, it's not my experience, it's not what I have learned and it's not what a lot of other experienced people tell me. Basically, I feel like Storm's been alone most of his life and he he is as stressed as the rest of our horses. I separated them last night and all of them went like this. <sighs> Even him. I feel like he doesn't want to be in charge of them and I feel like he thinks he has to be in charge of them. Like I think it's stressful for him too. So anyway, we're going to make changes so that he is with our horses but not right with them. The towel? No, please broke off. Can you go wash it and then put it somewhere? I don't know. That looks cool though. It looks crispy. That's Finn's favorite salt lick. I'll buy another. So I'm we are doing breakfast. Shaking. I'm still shaking a little bit from my um, almost dying. You didn't almost die, so if you handle that so super well. Well, when I almost broke my neck. You didn't actually almost break your neck. I was just joking. Yeah. You just slipped okay. underneath there and bent backwards. You were a good contortionist. I, I was not planning to get the scratch. I didn't even notice that until Captain. But okay, did you have fun on the trail? Yes. Were you so freaked out the whole time that you couldn't enjoy it? No. No, and neither was I. Was I was only freaked out for like the stuff that I was scared about. Yeah, like, you guys, a lot of you guys misinterpreted that whole video. I only, I only video during the safe part. My camera was away 99% of that trail, especially going up most of those hills. The only t reason I caught me cantering up that hill was because I was videoing and didn't realize we were going up a hill. I didn't have time to put it away. But, Stella took care of you. Yeah, Stella was incredible. I was not screaming at Stella the whole entire time. When faced with a stressful situation, I always laugh and I always resort to joking and being sarcastic and that's what I was doing and that's me and that's okay, that's just who I am and I know that not everybody will understand that or get it because we're all different and God made it that way on purpose so that the world would be a very diverse place and a place that we could all learn and grow and develop and we could learn from each other. So, what is happening today? You don't know? Come on with me and I'll explain All I it. know is that Brandon is coming. Brandon is coming. Race car driver. You know who else is coming? The chiropractor is coming. Oh yeah! You know what else is happening? Dad is setting up this fence line here. Can anybody guess why? It rained oh, last night. because the mares get this side and the geldings get in 
storm gets that far. No, because they are coming to clean out some of their junk today from the property. In the beginning, they said they were coming today, they were bringing a crew, they were taking it all today, and I was so excited. Uh-oh. <laughs> did you see what she did? She picked it up with her mouth. She's testing it. We have all that going on, and uh, we have lessons right now. And I don't know how it's gonna work because it rained last night, so the grass is a little wet. Maybe we could get a hair dryer and blow dry the grass. <laughs> so, basically, what happened last night was I could not put Storm back in the field with my horses because they are all sporting cuts. Willow has like a pretty bad cut, and they were all stressed out, even him. And so I kept him in his stall last night, and today he's going in his own field. Literally, he has not complained a single solitary second. He seems a million times happier because he doesn't have to be in charge of a whole herd when he's not the in charge kind of boy, are you? Yeah, I know you're not. He's like, finally, you get it. I've been trying to tell you I'm not happy taking care of these horses. It is 10 to 8 in the morning and our trainer is already here. We're not even supposed to ride till 8. Don't come early. All right, so this is how it's going to work. We're not putting Storm and Finn in the same field because that's why we think Finn freaked out the last time. He's jumpy with Storm. With Stella, he's like, oh, hi. Yeah, exactly. So, I'm going to go with Gabby. You are going to help her tack up. I'm not going to. And then you're going to tack up Stella. And the reason why is be in Western? Yeah. Because my saddle's being used. Because her saddle's being used. Hi, come on in. Who will love your Canada Day hat? Thank you. Um, and she's going to ride Stella in the field with Finn so that Finn, Finn doesn't get stressed out. So that's your job. Do you got it? He does. Do you, you got it? Do you get it? Do you understand it? All right. Text me if you need any more advice. This town's so lame, I'm feeling so wider. It's 4 a.m. I'm not even tired. So basically, we um, did our lessons early in the morning. Oh, cold. nice. Okay, hold on, nice and slow. We did our lessons early this morning because, good girl. Because it's going to be so scorching hot and we didn't want them to be too hot. Stella did awesome. So we're going to just uh, soak them down. So. Oh, Dad brought you your own everything. Um, you guys might remember that Stella was terrified of the hose last year when we first got her. Terrified of the water. Yeah, we're not using the water, the hose right away. She's doing so good. You're such a princess. Gabby, did you or did you not jump this horse? I jumped it. In a western saddle. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. So the only reason you did it was to get your sister to help her give her support and show her she could get over the jump? Stella can do it. Yeah, Stella's not going to be a jumping horse. But she did do a couple of jumps, right? And she's doing good. Our vet said that we should ride her exactly like we normally would. We shouldn't make any changes. We should just do everything that we would normally do. Finn, you are loving that shower, huh? He's He's just like, oh, I see you. Finn likes to jump. I don't care about you, This summer, I've already learned so many things about our horses and about us. Finn is a jumper. He's amazing on trails. Stella loves to go outside, and Stella loves the water. Just not when she gets bathed. Yeah, she's not like a big fan of bathing, but it's good for her. Um, Storm loves jumping in the na in nature. She loves cross country. He does. I feel like I'm going to need a shower now. So our lessons with Brandon for the rest of the summer will probably be early morning. Even though my kids are not at their best first thing in the morning. And Storm did not have breakfast today. That was his problem. He was so grouchy. We're in your car. We can drive away. Oh yeah, yeah. We're all So the horse that we saw last week at the sales barn is at the sales barn again. What do you feel about that, Sam? Actually, we didn't buy it. It must be something wrong. Yeah, the, the horse was was crazy. So I feel like if it's a horse like that, you need to take... Yeah, it'd be good for Storm. I feel like you need to take her, 
put her in a field and just let her sit for a few months. Just let her relax and get to know her environment like we did with Stella. And because moving around that much is hard on them. And she's only four. It's so weird. When Brandon was here, we were trying to catch her and she was running around like a crazy thing. And he's like, she's crazy. I'm like, but she's really not crazy when he's not around. Like, she doesn't like strangers. I mean, she's a licking Sophie. is about to arrive so we had to run back down we had time to have lessons or run up to the house eat some breakfast and then come back down and now we're gonna deal with the chiropractor I'm excited though I don't think I've shared with you guys that since Darren got his new saddle Gabby says that it kind of pushes her forward a little and it storms shoulders the last adjustment seemed to kind of be jammed up a little so we think that it's that so I phoned the um, the saddle fitter and he's supposed to come and do a do like a check a fit or whatever so he should be coming to do that soon and we can get that all settled usually the company sends somebody right away as soon as you get the saddle and you get it adjusted or you get it whatever like uh he sees if it fits but there they were breaking in a new saddle fitter so uh he wasn't available but now he is somebody is in love with the hay ball i love this for him jealous. Yeah, and other people are like, give me that hable! <laughs> to vlog like somebody working on her horses so the chiropractor came and I didn't vlog too much but she worked on Storm and he actually was like the best he's ever been I feel like he um, wasn't wasn't jammed up anywhere he uh, was a little bit out like anytime you ride a horse like they're gonna get a little bit out um, so he was not too bad, he, she, but he adjusted really well. And then Finn, the last time he was adjusted was when we first got him. And he was not really connected with us at that time. And he was like hard, kinda. He was like stomping and pushing and was like, and this time he was like the Finn that I know. He was like, oh, you're touching me, thank you. Like he, he loved it, I feel like he was the, you know how he's not quiet when he's being ridden well he was as quiet as he's ever been he like he loved it he was so good she lifted up his feet and he was excellent Finn you are such a good horse you are such a good boy and Finn was hardly even uh, out of adjustment so um, he she said like his back end gets a little bit tight and his withers were a little bit tight and Storm, she said, man, why don't I vlog this? Because I never remember what she says. His pattern is that his pelvis gets sore, but ever since we got the new saddle, he's 150% better, is what she said. Also, Storm did not kick the fairy, I mean, the fairy, kick the chiropractor today. Does he kick her usually? No, remember last time he kicked her? Yeah, last time she smacked him because he, and she's a very gentle chiropractor. Because, yeah, yeah, they were all really good. So that is something. So um, the other thing that is supposed to happen today, like this, today was supposed to be a really busy day. It might not seem like it was been busy in the vlog because I didn't vlog very much of it, but we had lessons at 8 a.m. We had the chiropractor at noon. And also the people were supposed to come 
to start removing all the stuff from our property. It's supposed to all be they're gone by today, but yeah, they're not here. Um, I don't know if I told you that, but um, they were supposed to take it all out today, and then they sent a message today saying that today's the day they're going to drop off the trucks to just prepare to move it out. So yeah, that's 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 that story. The horses Sam was in love with last week got bought for seven hundred dollars, and the lady brought it back to the sales barn today. We think I saw it on Facebook, so we're gonna go there and we're gonna see if she's still available, and then we're gonna see what happens. All right, we're here. It's a little bit later than normal, so I don't know if any horses will be here, but we're going to see. She's not here? She's gone? I think she's already gone. I want a baby cow. Oh, I, we need that one. It's mostly white. I like the white one. Look at it, it's almost pure white. Yeah, I like that one. It looks like storm. I like them all. There's a cow in our future. There's a baby cow in our future. Mark, hear me now. There is a cow in our future. You know what kind of cow I want? I want a small little, I want a baby brown cow. They're the cutest. Yeah, like a Highland cow. Oh, look at that white one. It has little spots. See it? Imagine how dirty it would be. So the horse wasn't either wasn't here or was sold before we got here. God was looking out for us today. God was looking out for us. God was looking out for us today. We did not see the horse. Either she, so the lady was trying to get a ride to get the horse here. So either it didn't show up today or it already got sold. But what one of those cows cost a thousand dollars. That's how much it costs to buy a cow. So when we buy a cow, we're gonna buy a baby cow. Way goes cheaper. By the pound. Yeah, it goes by the pound. So they're like 70 cents a pound. Uh, how much do you think a baby cow would go for? Over a dollar a pound. So you think like a hundred bucks? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's, that's my price range. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.